Hello. Hello. Welcome. I am Annika. And I'm Paul. And we are launching like a podcast today. We've recorded a few episodes and we're releasing them today. And we thought to celebrate, we do a little video where we, um, can you lift it? Mm -hmm. I can lift it. Where we try 12 different flavors of, of Tony's, Tony's Chocolate Only. Because we both like chocolates, although we might not uh, when we're done with this. Yeah, and it's super heavily inspired, borrowed, stolen from Prozy D. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> we have our water here. Chewy water. Uh, John Boyega water. Okay, so we're gonna start with the, the normal, normal the, the basic. They have no extra flavoring. There we go. Thank you. Milk, 35%. Regular milk chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's good. Just the classic. This is, they just have a very good quality chocolate. It's nice, it's creamy. It's a very good bar of milk chocolate. Like, I wanna take another bite now. <laughs> I'm not gonna because we've got 11 more flavors to get through. Mm -hmm. But that's how it's tasty very it is. Yes. What would you rate this out of 10? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? I yeah. think so, because it's just good quality chocolate. Um, I'd say nine out of 10, because it's just, yeah. Real good basic chocolate. And yeah. to get the basis right, that's like everybody that's can important. throw shit into chocolate and make yeah. it taste nice. But the basis is important. So I'd say 9 out of 10. For you? I would give this an 8 out of 10. Also because, yes, it's a very good chocolate. Purely the 8 is mostly because I know there's other flavors of Tony's that I prefer to just the basic milk. Yeah. Uh, so this is, the, as the basis, it's very good. And there's other flavors that I would prefer eating, but still... I wouldn't throw this away if someone gave it to me. Yeah, exactly. One done. White. White. I'm a big fan of white chocolate myself. Ugh. Okay, there we go. White. Ooh. So soft. Mm. Mm. I can feel the saliva. Yeah. I can feel it like, you want some more of that. I don't like this as much as the milk. I do like white chocolate very much. Mm -hmm. This is not... This is just, every band has this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like 7 out of 10. For it's, me. it's a good white chocolate. I actually like its understatedness that it's not as pronounced as the, the milk chocolate. I would, put, like, I would give this an 8. I would put Again. it on equal footing with the milk chocolate. Oh, yeah. 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 No, it's, it's went way down for me. Mm, really? Yeah. Yeah. Next one, dark 70%. I see you're anticipating this. I love dark chocolate. So. My friend. Mm. 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 Yum. Mm. Yeah. Yum. Definitely. Mm. The thing with dark chocolate is that I feel like that it's more of an acquired taste than the other flavors. It's heavy. Yeah. Like, bam, it hits you in the face. You only need one bite. Mm -hmm. Like, this is enough. There's so much flavor in it and so much, like, to experience like texture wise and flavor wise that you don't need anymore it's i not... still taste it it's still in my mouth but in exactly. a good way it's not like a nasty aftertaste it's just like like you said you don't want to eat another bite of this but in a good way yeah and it's got a good bitterness to it that a dark chocolate needs but it's not too bitter no. there's still sweetness and other flavors there as well it's not too bitter well, now we get to the interesting flavors this is dark milk. Dark milk. If milk is too sweet for you, but dark is too bitter for you, this might be perfect for you because it's like the in-between they have. Well, let's find out. Oh, by the way, what would you rate the pure, the dark, oh. the dark chocolate? Nine out of 10. I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. Uh -huh. Better than the other ones, still not my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Dark milk. It tastes more like milk chocolate than dark chocolate to me. I'm not as big of a fan of these. To me, it feels like a compromise. Like, huh. if I was craving a more creamy, soft chocolate, I would just go for the milk. And it doesn't have that intensity of the dark flavor. But I think if you're really into dark chocolate, this would not be dark enough for you. And if you're really into, like, soft, smooth chocolate, this got a little bit too much of that. Bitterness. Yeah. I would give this a 7 out of 10. Oh. This is I really good... like it. I give it an 8 out of 10. Mm, but then wouldn't you just have like two separate chocolate bars? Yeah. I'm a poor. <laughs> Tony's yeah. is expensive. It's true. Yeah. This is what I need. <laughs> um, 
This is one of my personal favorites. This is like the classic uh, oh. alternative Tony. I think this is their first trip away from the regular flavors. This is uh, caramel sea salt. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at those chunks. Wait, show them. Show yeah. them. Chunks of caramel. Ooh. Yeah. Yum. So it just smells like chocolate. Mm. Mm. 10 out of 10. Mm. 10 out of 10. Mm. Yeah, it's the it's the, the the creaminess of just that good quality milk chocolate that they have added with caramel. And the salt is... Let me do the YouTube. <laughs> but like good chunks of caramel are in salt there. Salt and chocolate is just such a good combination. It just enhances the chocolatiness of the flavor. It's yeah. The flavor profiles, flavor contrasts, people. Mm. It's not like burnt caramel. But it is a little browned caramel. Mm, perfect combination of sweet, yeah. salty, creamy. Yes, 10 out of 10, like you said. Yeah, 10, 10 out of 10. 10. It's the best. I want more. Yeah, <laughs> we will not. Cleaning of the hands. Uh, milk, 32%. But with hazelnut, it's another classic type of chocolate flavor. It's a... See a little chunk of hazelnut in there. They're little chunks though. They're not like full hazelnut. Full hazelnuts. No, they're chopped up hazelnut. Mm. You know, as a kid, I used to really love like chocolate with nuts, and I still enjoy it on occasion. But I've realized that lately I've become a bit more of a fan of the. I think the hazelnut is a little too overpowering a lot of the times in this. Oh, one. oh, that's so fun because mm -hmm. I was gonna say. Needs more hazelnut. <laughs> Needs way more hazelnut. Like what? I chopped it finely, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. I don't like the where there's like a big hazelnut and all you eat is hazelnut mm. and there's no chocolate. But this feels like they just cheapskated out of the hazelnut. I think I, maybe it's like they either need to add more hazelnut or less hazelnut. <laughs> I say more. <laughs> This gets a 7 out of 10 for me. It has just a little yeah. bit of a hazelnutty flavor, but it's not like... Yeah, I would I would give it a 7 out of 10 as well for, for like different reasons, basically. Yeah. Again, it's good, but I would prefer any of those other flavors we had over this. Yeah. Do you want more hazelnut, you say? I do. Do you have more hazelnut? Well, we, I have another one with hazelnut in it, but this hey. is like creamy hazelnut crunch milk. The way they phrase it, it, it sounds like they mean that the hazelnut is creamy. So maybe, maybe it has like a, a Nutella. Oh, thing right. In it. Like they kind of ripped off Nutella with this. The sweet solution of Tony's because all chocolate should be made without modern slavery and illegal child labor. I agree. I mean, yeah. <laughs> is there anyone who's going to say like, no, fuck you, SJW, Tony chocolate only who hates slavery? I mean, would people buy chocolate? They knew made from slaves I mean, yeah. to own the libs. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There were chunks in there. Okay. Like you need spot. to do that. Oh, yeah, thank you. It won't focus. And there's definitely chunks in there, so I do think it has chunks of hazelnut, but okay. it's fine enough. Mm. Oh, oh, that's weird. What is that? Chunks of hazelnut, but it also has like a hazelnut cream in there. Man, that's good. It, it reminds me of... Ferrero Rocher. Yes! It's Ferrero Rocher in a bar. Yes! Oh man, that's tasty. That's very good, yeah. Dang, that's good. I would give this an eight and a half out of ten. Me too, eight and a half out of ten. Very good. Yeah, very tasty. So here we have a nice yellow wrapper. Milk Nougat. That's actually it's... my favorite. Maybe it won't be my favorite after today though. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want a good piece? Yes. Little chunks of nougat in there. Mm. Surprisingly, it's a little crunchier than what I would expect from from nougat. Because yeah, in my mind, nougat is like soft. There's no nuts in this. There's no nuts in this. Well, no. that's nuts. <laughs> I think this has the wrong name. Here in Europe, softer nougat is more popular. I don't think this is like nougat. This is just. It's Toblerone. <laughs> it's Toblerone it in is. a bar. This is Toblerone. Well, we have, we've had Ferrero Rocher. We've had Toblerone. Yeah. So if you, again, if you like Toblerone, but you don't like 
things that are long, you can just get this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have much to say about it. It's good. I wanna it's nice. eat another bit. Like I'm starting to get pretty full and I'm still like, oh that, that <laughs> small chunk. I could have that small I, chunk. I'd give this a nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half, okay. Yeah. I would... It's pretty close to perfect. So I would give this an, an eight out of ten. Again, I don't think any of these are going to be bad. None of these are gonna go below below a seven. Yeah. Oh no, it's a... Oh no. Next up we've got milk. Penny waffle. In English, I think it's also also called a penny waffle. Penny wafer? Wafer, yes, thank you. I hope they manage to keep some of the crunch of the wafer in here. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, ill. <laughs> We've had Ferrero Rocher, uh, Toblerone. This is going to be Kit Kat. Oh, That's right. my prediction. Of this course, is my this prediction. is just Kit Kat. Whoa, my brain. The inside. Looks like a fucking Kit Kat logo. Hello. Think sheeple. Ah. I don't really see like any wafer in here. Yes. Th maybe that's the wafer. That's not Kit Kat at all. I was wrong. They played us. This is butterscotch. <laughs> I don't taste any fucking wafers. All I taste is butterscotch. What the hell? Very strange. No, six out of ten, I think. Take back that this might have been a Kit Kat. It's not. It's a not Kit Kat. Kit -Kat. I don't taste any wafers. All I taste is butterscotch. Yeah, another piece to form a good opinion of this. I'm Ooh, very confused by it. Daring. I don't taste the chocolate very well. It does have some butterscotchy quality to it, but it's not. Here you see a bit of wafer, and next to that is something dark. So I think they put butterscotch and wafer in there. They played us like a damn fiddle. Yeah, it says 14% uh, wafer, wafer bits. Not mm. enough wafer. Six out of ten. This is the first one that's disappointing. Yeah, six out I'm of ten. I'm not a fan. No. If I wanted butterscotch, I'd buy butterscotch. <laughs> Three left. Oh boy. Milk caramel biscuit. Already it has two things that we know is going to be good. It's going to be the quality of the biscuit, I think, that will decide this. This is Twix. Is Twix. What the fuck? Ba, ba, ba. They're just trying to copy Twix. It's it's got some air bubbles in there. I think it's a little bu it's a little more bubbly. It's Twix. It's literally just Twix. Yeah, but not with the satisfying distinction of the layers. It's just a bunch of Twix mixed together. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is kind of disappointing, really. Another six out of ten for me. No, I'd give this a seven because the taste is real fucking yummy. <laughs> I really Why not like have that. a Twix? Because it would I be would better. I would prefer to have a Twix yeah. over there. They did make it with without child labor and as slavery as possible. This is true. That's so true. that's I think that's what that's they're trying true. to do. Maybe is yeah, that they're like they're revamping popular flavors? Corner the market, but do it without slavery. So if that's their intent, then I take it all back. Editing Annika here. We looked it up and that is indeed what they are doing. They're taking very popular flavors and improving them by making them slave free and child labor free. So keep it up, Tony's. Heck yeah. Second to last. Almond sea salt pure, 51%. But the dark is 51% and their dark bar is 70%. Yeah, so this is going to be less dark. Less dark, dark than their actual dark. Why would they do that? I they wonder how the sea salt is going to, because sea salt goes really well with milk chocolate. I wonder how it's going to pair, pair with, with this. Uh, also, of note, this is not a ripoff one. I don't yeah, think this, this is, is trying an, to imitate yeah. any sort of... An, an original again. Yeah. Ooh, goo so, crunch. Yeah, that's... Ooh, yeah. that's that it's almondy like, goodness. That's like a full almond in here. I don't taste any salt. The salt is either very, very understated or there's no salt in here at all. There is salt in there. I feel like this tanginess in the back of my throat, that's from the salt. But I think it just enhances the other two flavors. It disappears too much. I think this is why it's not 70% mm. dark. Yeah, I think I just had like a tiny little kernel of salt. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. It's back. It's weird. It's like it doesn't really 
meld with each. It's just like, oh, you're eating dark chocolate with almonds, and then suddenly there's like, oh, there's some salt. Not a huge fan of this one. I give this another six out of 10. I give it a seven out of 10. Mm. I, I think it needs more salt, definitely. Mm. I just really love their dark and how crunchy it is. Plus, I love almonds. It just needs more salt. Mm. If they'd added more salt, it'd be an eight out of 10, but now it's a seven out of 10. Why not add more salt yourself? I mean, I'm not like gonna a, salt my fucking chocolate. Do like a tequila thing, like a little bit of salt and then like chocolate. Yeah. Last one, we made it. We saved the most interesting one for less. This is another white chocolate with raspberry and pop rocks. Pop rocks. Look at that, that's like, Ugh. that's a big chunky. It actually looks kind of gross like this. They're freeze dry. Yeah, they're not fresh. Last but, one. Okay. You're gonna take two bits? Yeah, I want, I want the poppiness. Very sweet. Yours is popping way more than mine. What's going on? I really love this. Like, I love dark chocolate. I love white chocolate. I just love chocolate. I just love chocolate. But if you want the pop rocks to pop, you have to not chew. You have to let it melt in your mouth. All right. Try another little piece. Oh, that's disgusting. If you just eat it like a normal bit of chocolate, there's not really any pop rocks. Yeah. I like sucking on my chocolate. That's what she said. But I really love this flavor, but the Pop Rocks is kind of underwhelming. That's a nasty looking yeah. I left it in my mouth. I chewed on it. I got two pops. I think my mouth just doesn't respond. It doesn't, doesn't accept Pop Rocks. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like have the chemical reaction that you need for Pop Rocks to pop. No popping happening here. Lots of popping in my oh. mouth. Oh, no, there's me. not. <laughs> This is definitely the most acquired taste of all of them. It's very sweet. It's an interesting idea, like Pop Rock chocolate, but it doesn't work for me, it works for you. What they should have done is given a little bag of Pop Rocks to go with <laughs> your yeah, thing. And then with you the chocolate. Do a little bit of Pop Rocks in your mouth and then eat a chocolate. Yeah. But this is underwhelming. I still love the taste, but because of the Pop Rocks not really popping unless you know how to eat it, which is not how chocolate is supposed to work. I still give it a 7 you out of 10. include instructions on how to best eat this bar. Like you shouldn't have instructions to eat chocolate. I'm going to be a bit weird with my rating here. I would give this between a 5 and a 7 out of 10. Okay. Entirely depending on my mood. Because it's so sweet. Yeah. It's if I'm craving something sweet, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I want that. I don't very often have like moods where I want something really sweet. Otherwise, I would be like... Mm. Oh man, do we have something else? I'm not, not a huge fan. As before, like if they added more of the ingredient, it would have been better. <laughs> but we did it though. We did it! 12 flavors of Tony's chocolate only. I think my favorite is still the caramel sea salt. Just the classic. Yeah, mine too. A good combination of things. Just the elements of the sweetness, the saltness, yeah. the, the creaminess of the milk chocolate. Just add a little bit more of the fun ingredients and then perfect. Final little question. What would your perfect Tony's chocolate only God. unique flavor be? That's a tough one. I would add cheese. <laughs> the saltiness of the Parmesan, that oh. sharp tang. That's so gross. What do you think, John Boyega? He's silently judging you. What do you think, Chewy? <laughs> yeah, see, he's mad at you. Um, I think my perfect Tony's would have caramel and sea salt. Mm -hmm. Would be milk, I think. Mm -hmm. But I'd add like an extra texture to it. Maybe make it stroopwafel mm -hmm. sea salt. I think okay. that would be perfect for me. See. Just an extra bit of texture of the of the thin wafers. Like the wafer, but also the the syrup. Yeah, but the syrup can be salted syrup, and then you mm. have salted caramel. I would want a salted caramel stroopwafel milk bar. A semi-serious answer, uh, uh, not the cheese one, because I don't actually want to eat that. <laughs> Continue in like the line of like Dutch themed chocolate bars. Maybe you could have scholietjes chocolate. With, it's also like, that's also type of biscuit, but it's like a little thicker biscuit, more crunchy. It's not like wafery biscuit. Yeah. Add some of that. Maybe you should show them what a scholietje look like because they don't know it. This, this is what a scholietje looks like. I hope I can add images. Otherwise this is gonna look weird. <laughs> there it is. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Yeah, listen to the podcast. 
yeah we hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy watching us interact together you might enjoy listening to us interact together so you can listen to our podcast paul and anika the podcast it's out now we've mm -hmm. made a little trailer and we have two episodes out now we're gonna make more but i'm disabled and he's just working all the time and it's a pandemic so we don't know when the next one will be out we'll try not to like do only two a year we can't guarantee a weekly or even monthly upload it's just an irregular schedule so you'll get it when you get it yeah just like uh subscribe to it and you'll find it back in your feed when we make a new one yay, yay. okay goodbye goodbye Bye, John Boyega. <laughs> uh, disgusting. Didn't hear you complain last night. <laughs> Outtakes. <laughs> Clip. No. Another chocolate. You dropped it. That's fine. Went to your lap. That's fine. Like me. <laughs> like oh, ASMR. <laughs> Nerd. So it doesn't mean it, com it doesn't come from dark cows. It's not actual dark milk from dark cows. It's like a combination of milk and pure, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of ASMR. <laughs> Disgusting. Hello. 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 <laughs> Sounded like the Muppet Barbershop Quartet, the way we started. Yeah. And action.